In this video, I would like to show you how you can earn passive income with Shutterstock. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to type into Google Shutterstock Contributor. And then afterwards, you scroll down and you click right here on Shutterstock Contributor. So basically, what we're going to do right now is we're going to have a look at how to earn money with your photos. So if you do not know Shutterstock, Shutterstock is one of the biggest platform for stock images. And these stock photos can be bought by other people and for everyone who purchases your photo that you upload as a contributor, you're going to earn money. So click right here on Shutterstock Contributor. And then afterwards, as you can see right here, this is my account that it just opened up for us right here to explore. Now, what you want to do is, again, you want to, first of all, sign up with your um, passport, basically, or your driver's license, and then afterwards, you will be in this account right here. So what you want to do is, so first first of all, you want to um, basically click right here on payout details. So you, first of all, want to make sure that you can be paid. And the thing that you want to do afterwards is you, first of all, want to check out what Shutterstock really wants from you. And there is something called the Shutterstock shot list. So just type into Google Shutterstock shot list and you'll be brought right here. So basically right here it will give you advice on how to create amazing photos for Shutterstock. So basically what Shutterstock is looking for is diverse people. Now that does not necessarily mean that you cannot upload any other photos. You can upload photos of whatever you want whether for instance it is let's say a location let's say you're taking a photo of um, some place, let's say in LA, or you're taking a photo of some place in China, it doesn't really matter. It's all about just figuring out, first of all, um, a place or let's say someone or something that is interesting for other people. So it's about diverse people, it's about school and education, it's about moving and house hunting and religion and holidays. So these are things that people are looking for mainly here on this platform. So for instance, diverse people, we have for instance right here, portraits and lifestyle shots representing diverse people, images of people of color, images of people of multiple races interacting, people from around the globe engaging in their local traditions and wearing traditional clothing that represents their culture, close-up shots of natural um, shots of people from around the world, and so on and so on. And then right here, school and education, our customers start searching for images related to back to school a few months in advance. So we're giving you plenty of time to get your images ready. Below is a list of topics to explore. For instance, images of school supplies and children buying new school supplies. Children of ages from pre-K to teens picking out an outfit uh, at home or shopping for an outfit to wear on their first day of school, and so on and so on. So all of that. And then of course, moving moving and house hunting, people who are moving, and then parentheses, packing and unpacking boxes, people celebrating or exhausted at the end of packing, movers helping to put boxes into a moving truck. And when we click right here on religion on holidays, of course, Southeast Asian religious holidays, Rashka Bantan, I hope I pronounced that correctly, then Teji Jan Mashtami, and so on and so on. To be honest, I probably pronounced all of them incorrectly. So, so basically, what they're looking for is these four areas. So what I would do if I would be you is I would focus on one of those. And for instance, you can invite some people into a certain location that you are interested in. And then afterwards, you can take photos. And basically, um, when you take these photos, you can sell afterwards these photos. So that is basically it. So it says right here, cash in on your creativity. We've paid out over $500 million to our contributors, upload your work and start earning. And then here are some more tips and advice for creating successful content. And basically what you want to do when you are inside um, your contributors account is you just want to click up here on upload images. You can of course, of course, also click right here and upload videos. So when you do so, just click right there. And then afterwards you can upload the images right away. Then and Shutterstock, of course, has to confirm these images. And then afterwards, as soon as they have confirmed them, you can upload as many images as you want. So basically, you can upload thousands of pictures every single day if you want to. And if you, for instance, you know, look around in the community of Shutterstock a little bit and you, you know, reach out to a couple of people, you will very soon realize that you can make some very good um, amounts of money with your Shutterstock photos. So there are people that earn, for instance, only with 50 to 100 photos around $100 per week. So around $400 per month, which I think is already quite amazing. And um, if you think about, it, I mean, 50 photos, of course, they take work, but you will be paid out that money again and again and again and again, as soon as someone, as someone purchases your photos. 
So of course, if you then have a thousand photos or 10,000 photos, you can earn 10 times as much. You can earn 10 grand if you want a month. So there are people actually here on Shutterstock that are making tens of grand. So basically $20,000, $30,000 with their photos. So what I'm personally always looking for in photos is just simply, you know, people interacting and the same thing is Shutterstock doing as well. So from my perspective, I'm a person that always is looking for photos on Shutterstock, who's buying photos on Shutterstock. And I'm looking for people, I'm looking for, you know, certain locations and so on and so on. And what you should do is you should reverse engineer that kind of thinking and like try to think about what kind of photos you should take and what other photos, um, what other people are looking for in photos. So, right, that was it now here for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and we are going to see each other in the next one.